Hello, welcome to today's vlog. Um, we are staying at the Manor House in Castle Coombe. You've probably seen it on Instagram um, or other social media channels, if not on YouTube already. And I thought I would bring you along with us, show you our hotel, show you our room, take you on a walk around Castle Coombe and take you out for dinner with us as well. Uh, so let's have a look around our bedroom. It's such a pretty room. So we're in the main house and out this window up here is the typical place, all the Instagrammers, where I'm probably going to go and do a video. Take their videos. Just show you the views out the window before I show you around the room because the room is just spectacular. So yeah, it's up there. It's where everyone goes and does their videos. And then this is our room. <laughs> Bye, John. Super lovely coffee machine. Some biscuits. Now it's such a pretty building. It almost looks a little gothic, I would say. And it looks like we've been left some goodies here. Oh, lovely. So we've got a bottle of bubbly. And that looks nice. I'm sure we'll enjoy that. And then this says, welcome to the manor house. We hope you enjoy your stay with us. Please let us know if you need anything. I'm not sure what I would possibly need with all of this. Oh, is that gin? Gin. There's some gin there. That's quite nice, isn't it? Some chocolates. I will be enjoying those later. Secret squirrel. <laughs> oh, funny names. Uh, John's hiding in the bathroom. Hello. <laughs> uh, this is the bathroom. Spectacular. It's just, that is an enormous shower. It's lovely, walk-in shower. And then down here, hello. Two, just look how big this bath is. John, can you come and get in the bath? I need to just show everyone how big it is. Yeah, please get in the bath. I need to show everyone how big it is. <laughs> now, what are you like? Six foot two, six yeah. foot three. Six two. Yeah. So I could get. It's big enough. Two Johns in there. <laughs> <laughs> all the ladies. <laughs> They've all gone mental on my page now. I've said that. <laughs> uh, that's lovely. Is that a television? Yes. Well, there's the remote. Oh, that's cool. I have to say, I've never been in a bath. Oh, and turned on the TV. I've never really wanted to. I always bring my book with me. Oh, that's a little side of me. That's a big swing. That's very fancy. I'm going to turn that off. Right, that's very fancy. Wow, that's. I don't even know what to say about this bathroom. It's just stunning. That has to be one of the nicest entrances to a shower that I've ever seen. Wow. Such a lovely room. Yeah. What have you found over here? Oh, just maps. That was much nicer. Oh, yeah. A map of Castle Coombe. Has it got the circuit on there? Do you think that's what that bit coloured out at the top is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's just like a fire mm -hmm. exit thing. Yeah. Another window, and you can see out the window here there is giant chess and a giant chair, and then just past the people walking with their dog there behind them, there's giant Jenga and croquet. Oh, it's so fun! So, yeah, this is our bedroom, this is a tour of our bedroom, and um. We're going to get ready for dinner now and, uh, yeah, go down for dinner in the evening and then I'll take you out for a walk tomorrow. So we are ready for dinner. These are our outfits. I thought my dress was a little, um, like, pilgrimy, So I've unbuttoned it down a bit and then I put witchy shoes on. So it's more of a witchy vibe than a pilgrimy vibe. 
That's good. Yeah, That's I think nice. so. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head down for dinner and we'll take you guys with us. I'm really excited. Was it a tasting menu? Mm, oh my gosh. Seven courses with wine. Can't wait. Okay, let's go. <laughs> You've just left your wife who's got very silly oh. shoes on. On these stones. Oh look, he's just doing this because I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> It'd have run off by now. <laughs> so well, you get the camera out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. It's a little archway. Mm. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah. Oh, it's so lovely. Steps. Yeah, but these aren't silly steps, are they? No, carpeted, so if I fall it's a bit more acceptable. Ooh, now well, those are silly stairs. <laughs> oh, that's pretty, that's very like Harry Potter. Do we go down here? Go down? I think we yeah. go down. Let's go down. Do not disturb. I didn't see what's going on. They don't want anyone going in their room. What are they up to? <laughs> right, I'm going to turn this off because I'm going to I'm going to fall over. I will uh, join you guys at dinner. Mm, so we have just sat down for dinner. And John's helping me choose my main because I have literally no idea what I'm going to be choosing. There's two options. I obviously have the vegetarian menu. Yeah, I don't know. I don't actually know what either of those are. Obviously, I know what a risotto is. So I've got... This is mine, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got... It's a tasting menu, so we've got all of these different bits here. But then I get to choose between this one or this one. And I obviously know what the risotto is. I don't, to be perfectly honest, know what that is. Um, and we'll probably get wine pairing to go with it. I think that would be nice. Do you think? Mm. Yeah. Okay. And this is a lovely restaurant. It's very green. I like it a lot. And I'm sat with my back to the window purely because I like to see everything that's going on in the room. Just in case a murderer was to come in and attack me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of product. Uh, the, the French are actually jealous <laughs> of us over here because their wines tend to be like much riper, they get too much sugar, so they have to pick much earlier in Champagne than we do here. Uh, for us, having a lower growing season allows the grape to reach full maturity and that allows them to have more complex notes, to have a little bit more acidity, but at the same time this very ripe fruit character. Oh, lovely. Which you're kind of lacking in Champagne. Mm. Very lucky. Yeah. Where is it from? Where's it made? At Sussex. Okay. Sussex Downs, wow. actually. Fantastic. Really? Ridgeview, it's amazing. We have literally all their wines here. Yeah. It smells so, like, fruity. You, you will see it's, like, very rich strawberry, but this freshness just keeps it so alive and lively on the palate. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. That smells so lovely, doesn't it? Mm, it does. Like from a distance, you can get the flavour of the fruits a lot more, and then when you go up close, it smells a bit more alcoholic. I've always found that with like wine tasting. What do you think? Yeah. No, I'd, I'd go with that. Shall I try it? Try it. See what you think. Yeah, that's really nice. Sweet. Strawberries. Sharp. Sharp. It's very nice though. Light. How can it be sharp and light? Just can be. Yeah, I would say it's sharp and light. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is my starter. And John's starter, obviously. So I've got this little little guy here. This beautiful I don't that is a work of art. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to eat that, you know? I will. Well obviously, that's John's. Isn't that lovely? Right, let's eat. So this is, I think, actually the first course. I think the first one was just an appetizer. It was, yeah. Um, so yeah, John's got this over here, which is a chalk stream trout thing. 
which I've been told to eat in one bite. In one bite, I would obviously not eat that, not vegetarian. Mine is vegetarian and mine is, what is it? Artichoke, artichoke. Yeah, artichoke. shiminy, shiminy. Uh, shimeji mushroom. Shimeji mushroom. And potatoes, fresh apple. And fresh apple. And some truffle. So this has just arrived and it's a brioche, laminated brioche bun. And it's got really beautiful butter with it. So I'm really excited to try that. Um, it looks like it's awesome. That's so satisfying. Wow, that's really beautiful. Oh. Now to add the butter. Oh my god, yeah, I do have to add butter. So I'm getting so excited about bread. I've been so excited about this since I saw it on the menu. Isn't that really, really sad? <laughs> Good as it looks. <laughs> very good. Oh my gosh, we have to try this. So they look very, very similar but they are not the same. Mine's vegetarian. You can't really see it. Let me put it into the light a bit more. There we go. Uh, but we do both have the same. What was that? An um the shoni plum. Uh, Japanese plum chutney. Chutney thing. Um, and then these little bits here, if you can see. Let me just see if I can focus that a bit better. So these little bits here are truffles. And then it's got walnuts on the outside. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Honestly, I would do the same. I don't drink a lot of their wine, like their contigues or sandwiches. Okay, I love that. Over here, for the beef, we go for something a little more classic. This is a second young fruit. So from the right back. Is that good? Oh my god, I want to try mine now. This is from Pasavia. Uh, he is a staple name in the Rhone Valley. Incredible wines. This is one of them. Uh, what he does over here, he allows for the grape to reach full maturation, so it doesn't pick a little bit earlier. Generally, some people tend to do that to preserve a little bit more acidity. He just wants like this big, big, ripe peach flavor. I thought I would move you over here so you can join us for our next tour. Which is the main course. It's the only place I can beat you because I have not brought my tripod down to dinner. It's up in the room. So you get John in full view, which I'm sure you'll much prefer than seeing me, who's had a little too much wine. But um, yeah, enjoy. Oh, I keep forgetting to drink water. That's really good. It's very nice wine. <laughs> I don't know three, I've forgotten. Too much. So, I'm going over here. Now we go my home country in Italy. Uh, yeah. To the north in Alto Adige. Whereabouts in Italy are you from? I'm from Rome. Oh, you haven't taken me there yet. We're going to Venice in a week. Okay. Or okay. Venice. We've both been there, but. Let's go. I, won't, uh, I won't be upset about that. Yeah. Venice first. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do that. I've messed I mess with that. Um, no, you're not. <laughs> wonderful place. The, go in March or October. And if you do go, go a little bit outside Rome as well, in an area that's called Castelli Romani. And you have these towns that are literally climbing on a dead volcano. Inside of the volcano, you will have a lake, and you get the train. You can go through a tunnel, and then when you get out of the tunnel, you just see this lake inside this volcano, and it's incredible. It's the summer residence of the Pope. It's in Castel Gandolfo, in that place. Worth a visit. 40 minutes with the train from Rome. It's, it's really close, and it's definitely worth a visit. Yeah. Right. So, going back to our lovely Elena Walsh. She's incredible producer from Sutirol. Sutirol is this very particular region from North Italy. They are a little bit Austrian <laughs> and a little bit Italian. We, we like this kind of, uh, you know, a little yeah. bit of everything yeah. mixed together. 
Uh, now, their wines tend to have this awesome purity on the mouth, but they are so elegant. They have so much finesse. Over here, on the nose, it's a lot of like pear and white flowers. Very, very delicate wine. And on the mouth, you have this like zing and minerality that just catches your palate and keeps it so fresh. This is a fantastic oh, wow. example. I was definitely expecting that to be red coming out of that bottle. Oh, no. I don't know why. Bianco. Well, white. Yeah. The shape, the colour. I know what you mean. Oh, it is quite a big bottle. Yeah. It is quite a big bottle. Seven years of bottle aging. Very smooth to drink. Silky tannins on the palate. Really, really enjoyable glass of wine. Cannot go wrong with our beef. Our beef is not too marbled, so you don't have a lot of fat. You don't need acidity or anything to cut through that. You just need a silky smooth glass of wine. Just enjoy your glass of wine. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's good. Let's try them. If you need any adjustment, just let me know, yeah? Okay. Oh, that is really nice. I haven't disliked any of them yet. That is really warm. Yeah. Yeah. Is it red though? It's red. Obviously. Yeah. Only a tiny tip, I don't really like red. Yeah, you don't have to. It's got that um, no. tanniny bitteriness on the back end that you probably won't like. Don't like that. It's quite smooth to start with, yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> I would always think red wine just tastes like a glorified vinegar. Very glorified. I just don't like red wine at, at all. I really, really don't. Although, if you see that, it's a good one because it's got lots of legs on it. Legs means sweeter, yeah. richer, yeah, it's more, more thickness, which often means it's more sugar, but uh, it means more body. No, you won't get many legs on wine, generally. You would say that, but you would think that I would like red wines, and I really don't. Well, that like white wine like would, like would usually be sweeter, it would be lighter, but less, um, less tanniny, less <laughs> bitter, yeah. or drying. We are just about to start our first dessert and you'll probably know I absolutely love pudding. I love sweet things, so I'm very excited about this. It's an Annabelle strawberry dessert and it's got skew, which is I guess a yogurty, ice creamy yeah, it's like that Icelandic thing. That, yeah, the Icelandic one. Do we have any in Iceland? Yeah, yeah. we did. Yeah. We sort it out because it's Icelandic and also it's really lemon lactose. We've just got our final course, um, and it's a. I'm literally not going to be able to pronounce that. Moyenric apricot. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> apricot mousse with passion fruit and all sorts of goodness. So it's got a biscuity base, a biscuity chocolatey toppy bit. That's not even slightly in focus. No, that's fine. A biscuity, biscuity bit, yeah. an apricot, an apricot, and then this very sweet dessert wine. Tokai. That's really yummy. I really like that. Husband pretending he knows everything about wine because he's had a couple of glasses. I don't think about wine, but this smells very sweet. It smells very fruity, very apricot, actually. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I don't Gosh, know if I'm smelling bright. this, because this is apricot, but... No, it's not. It's definitely this you're smelling. Mm. Mm. Yeah, like that. Okay, dig in. Mm, I will. Oh, we have just finished the tasting menu. Um, and it was 
just some lime. It was so yummy. Um, we just had some little petit fou. Petit, what are they called? Petit four. Some little sweet <laughs> chocolatey things, um, which were delicious. One of them was pineapple, and the other one was salted caramel. Um, John's had an espresso down there. Um, and we're going to head back up to the room, and I'm going to fall asleep because I'm exhausted from today um, because the majority of today I was in the garden picking vegetables for John's mum, prepping them in the kitchen and looking after Tabitha and doing a bit of work as well so um, I need a good night's sleep so see you tomorrow we had a really lovely stay here last night so I thought I would take you and have a look around the Italian gardens that are just up behind our bedroom so let's go and have a look This is the front of the hotel. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, there is a really pretty exterior um, and lots of other lovely flowers. Like we've got dahlias over here, which are just stunning. Um, so we're gonna go up and have a look through these kind of gardens, which are up these steps, which loads of people film and photograph regularly, which you'll probably see on social media. Yeah, let's have a look at them. So there's our room there, here. And we've got a lovely view out across over these steps for the Italian garden. This is the manor house from at the top. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and we're just going to go and have a look up in the gardens now. They look so pretty and there is something up here that I really want to show you. So this is the top of the Italian garden and it's so pretty. There's lots of really like cool little details everywhere and um, sorry I'm a bit out of breath after walking up all those steps but um, I just imagine when people lived here and you know built and enjoyed these gardens that they were like oh let's put a cute little bench like that in the garden to go and sit in <laughs> now this is made out of what i assume is cotswold stone and it looks like over there there might be a very pretty little area that we can go and have a look around Actually, so like the water level dropped a bit, but anyway, this is so beautiful. That's what I was looking at. Should we go and have a look over there and go inside and um, see what the view's like from the top? Mind yourself on the steps. I don't know if you can hear, but um, in the background, the uh, Castle Coombe racetrack is zooming and booming. Um, it's another part of Castle Coombe that's quite famous and well known. Um, this is obviously the like beautiful quintessential English aspect of Castle Coombe. Um, I mean, even though that's Venetian in style, I would say. Um, it's Italian. It looks like Venetian to me with the water, all the different avenues and paths and just the beautiful architecture. It's so pretty. I think we might be doing some reels up here. So make sure you check out my Instagram and look at some whimsical, beautiful fairy tale esque content. So this is inside the hotel we're staying in and this is the entrance hall and it's got a really beautiful fire going and lots of really lovely wooden panelling. And there's John. What are you looking at? Uh, history of the hotel. Oh, lovely. 365 acres. Wow. We've walked around a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. 
We went up to the Italian gardens, obviously, which were really pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, I did. No, I did know that. There's, um, don't you remember mum and dad looked at buying that house and it had like bits of a castle in the garden? It was like, like, do you remember? So I did know that. Oh, but they've got lovely wellies. Le Chamou and Hunter. I can never say the name of that brand ever. Chamou. Le Chamou. Chamou, whatever. Very lovely. Should we go and have a look up here? Because I think yesterday it was very dark. It's so pretty here. You can actually get married here. Those are really pretty wedding photos. It's at the top. Um, we'll go up there and have a look again. It's an Italian garden. There's a few cars parked down there, so I didn't really film too much down there, but we'll go back and have a proper look in a minute. Um, it's a chessboard set up. We can have a play of chess if you want to. It's not a bad little setting for it, is it? Nice. Okay. You can't move backwards, can you? Can you? You can't move your pawns backwards. Hello from our hotel room. We um, have been back here a couple of hours, had a rest, read my book. John's read his book. I've been reading, um, where even is my book? Don't know where I put my book. Well, anyway, I've been reading um, the day, was it called The Three Dahlias? Yeah. Is that it there? No, yeah. that's your book, isn't it? Oh, well, it's mine. Um, yeah, it's called The Three Dahlias. It's a really good, kind of like, fun murder mystery about actresses. And it's very like, Agatha Christie, is it in bed still? There it is. Yeah, The Three Dahlias. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a murder mystery. Um, it's a really, really good book, so if you are looking for anything like Cotswoldy murder-esque, this is a really good book. It's not actually based in the Cotswolds. Um, I don't actually know if they've said where it's based, um, but it's based at some really big fancy house that's very Agatha Christie-esque. Um, except Daily Lively is uh, known as the, like, queen of poison or something because that's what happens in her books it's not ruining anything it literally says on the back um so yeah we're gonna go now we've had a rest and i feel so much better i've just been feeling so exhausted and tired recently um and we're gonna go and have a walk around castle Coombe and maybe go and have a soft drink in the manor house which is where we're staying um and then we're heading where are we going for dinner what's it called the castle inn the Castle Inn. So last night, you would have seen, we went for dinner here. What was that called? The Bybrook. The Bybrook. I'm really rubbish with names. Um, that was so good. Mm. So Amazing. good. Um, so, yeah, we're going to think a fancy inn. Um, fancy inn. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Think a fancy pub. An inn is a fancy pub. Um, so, well, yeah, I'll take you there and um, see what we have for dinner. And... We're going to go out and try and get a bit more content done, I think, because when we went out earlier, it's a Saturday, because um, that's, you know, John's off work, so it just made sense that we came over on a Saturday, and it's so busy. But then I'm adding to the busyness. Um, I'm one of those people, aren't I? So I never complain, I never moan at anyone. There was a lady taking a selfie with her husband, and I don't know how many selfies they took. They must have taken 100, but... I was just there, like, in my head, they're all identical. But I'd never say anything. I'm just like, oh, yes, having a moment and a memory for them. But um, 
yeah, I always try and be really uh, sensitive and kind when it comes to doing content in these sorts of places, purely because I've lived in these places. Um, I grew up in Avebury, and the amount of people that probably have images of me in my bedroom as a child, that sounds super dodgy, um, but like from the outside looking in, people used to do that and they used to be like, oh, smile, and it's like, this is my life, I'm living here, please don't do that. So um, yeah, anyway, that's what we try and do, we try and be discreet and just get it done, and I plan everything before we go out and do things for content um, as well. So, yes, you're up on the fireplace currently. I just thought I would put you up on the fireplace. It's a stunning fireplace, isn't it? With a little lion. Um, I also, oh, I did some makeup. Ooh. I've used these, like, can you even see this? It's a sparkly MAC mascot, no, what is it? Eyeshadow that John bought me um, for his brother's wedding because I really wanted it. I went into a shop and saw it. And then I was like, oh, I can't spend, like, I don't know, £25 on myself, but I, yeah, I didn't have to, John bought it. Um, so I've put my makeup on, and then we're going to go out. Can we go out now? Mm, I'm finished. I'm ready. Let's go then. Um, have you had enough coffee? It's only had an espresso. The other one was a tea. Oh, yeah, I had tea too, didn't I? Not tea too. I had a tea too. Such a pretty sunny day. It was so rainy this morning. <laughs> Look, there's grapes up there. But they taste so sour. <laughs> Do you want to bite one? Do you want to bite one? I do want to get some nice garden furniture actually. So at the moment we're just sitting on awful plastic chairs. I say awful, they are pretty awful. They were given to us though, so can't be too grumpy, can I? No, yeah, that's where we're going to go later for dinner, the Castle Inn. Woo! Yeah, there. It's nice, isn't it? Such a pretty little area. Can't believe when I was growing up this place there was look how many people there are. Mm. And when I was growing up there was literally nobody here whenever I would come here with my family. Mm. Just shows the power of social media, doesn't it really? Just all these cars. Um, I don't know if I think it's a good or bad thing, really. Uh, changing the, the character of the places. Yeah, they've become like literal, you know, tourist attractions. You can see that. Um, and I suppose people like me are to blame for that in a way. Yeah. Yeah. This is very sweet. There's usually cakes and things there. They were there earlier when we came down here. This is probably one of the most photographed sections of Castle Coombe. Um, and did you know Castle Coombe's meant to be the most prettiest village in the whole of England? It's like the most picturesque. Like, you just gonna look at this. It's very picturesque. Yeah, just people everywhere though. Um, which is why we're staying, because then it gives us an opportunity to see it when it's not like this. Although, saying that, I did come down here in the winter last year, or the year before, and it was empty. There was like nobody here. Which was really nice. Car and I'm in the road. Um, I think it quit before my mum did. But they weren't. They weren't we walk down to the bridge up here. Mm hmm. Yeah. What's the famous bridge? Everyone sits on and has a photo. Definitely done that. Oh my gosh, look at all the people down there. Quite busy. This is so pretty. So this here, I always forget what type of plant it is. It's terrible. Ivy? I don't think it is an ivy. It's something else. It um, changes colour, it goes red, so we start from there. Um, yeah, it's lovely. Oh, look, that's open. Oh, chop. Shall we go in? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look, it's just, look, look, it's just this. <gasps> so busy down here. Look, that's a pretty unicorn cottage. Don't know what makes it a unicorn. Well, it's got a it's unicorn nice. on the door. Look. Is it? Yeah, and there's a unicorn up there. But look. Unicorn. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Is that all post office? Oh, it's so pretty. Look, there's lots of cars parked over there now. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's just people's houses. I bet they take great delight parking there and they're never ruining people's photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like it's Yes, not probably. Like this is what happens, isn't it? You come here. Marshall, I'm going to tell them. Can you want to walk down to the chalk street? Like the other bit, yeah. Follow the river down? Yeah. I think this is busier than parts of Kensington High Street when we lived in London. <laughs> It, doesn't it? Well, it's more picturesque than yeah. Kensington. Well, different. Mm -hmm. It's oldie waldy romanticism esque stuff. Whereas there's like quite wealthy and a bit like glossy and cherry offy. Whereas here, you know, you have the crumbly old walls and the gardens that have got weeds growing in them and. <laughs> It's, it's okay for it to be a bit messy. Should we just wait for the cars? Yeah. Watch the river. Look for the fish. Where are they? I don't know. I don't see any at the moment. Trout, Do you think they're rainbow trout? Uh, could be. Brown trout, maybe. Yeah. Do you want to come over here so you don't get run over and die? Probably for the best. It's an electric car. Never hear it coming. Fun, isn't it? I was saying to John earlier, because we walked down here and um, we're doing some uh, different videos and just having a look around and stuff. And um, I'm pretty sure that things like that were for um, when the streets didn't have tarmac or concrete or whatever you got down um, and you'd be driving along and it would just be full of mud and sludge um, and mess. And that's to stop it from coming in the house. And uh, obviously there's a chalk river here. I highly doubt... I wouldn't say I highly doubt this floods. I don't know. Hello? I've seen it a lot higher than this. It's not like... It's all built up. It. Right, it's got the wall next to it. It's, it's suggest it might, but I don't know. I have driven down here and it's been quite high. I don't know if you can see there's a cute little cat over there by the red door by the corner of the red door which is I've zoomed in is just on the edge of this pretty part of the Cotswolds in Castle Coombe Look at all the people again. So many people. But yeah, I'm always on the lookout and there's a cat there, so that makes me very happy. Well, we've gone and had a look in Castle Green Church. Inside. I don't know if I've ever been inside. I think I probably did when I was little, but I don't remember. And I'm just having a look. I just started filming because I thought it was really interesting where I am. I'm just having a look at a faceless clock. It's not actually working at the moment. Annoyingly. <laughs> the 
interesting. Oh, this is pretty, look. Filming here. Oh, this is lovely. Nice to see things like this. So I actually grew up on and off film sets like this with my dad. And I remember one time, um, hello, I remember one time I had a huge bowl of Rice Krispies and put them down on the table and went up somewhere to, I don't even know, like grab some sugar for them I think, and one of the actresses went and sat down at the table and I refused to go get my Rice Krispies and I would have been about six and even to this day I regret not eating my Rice Krispies. Um, it's just always made me think it's always good to just be confident and, you know, I was there first. <laughs> it's lovely here. There's John, over there. Let's go and see what he's looking at. More filming. Mm. Wow. Do you see that they lay a fake road? Do you see that? Can you see? Mm. Sorry, darling. Beautiful. Oh, that's so sweet. The little children's area. Oh, I love things like this. It's just so, so cute. Well, I didn't see anywhere to light a candle. Hmm? Usually I light a candle. Hmm. But I didn't see anywhere to light a candle. Hmm. That's okay. Yeah. I usually light a candle, um, I don't know, just as a nice sign for my grandma who passed away and my friend Lena who passed away. Um, and other relatives and friends and things. So I've not really had any other friends, luckily, you know, at my age pass away, but um, yeah, it's just a nice thing to do. And uh, just a, not necessarily religious symbol for me, but just a symbol of like remembering them, I think. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, we are now gonna head over to the hotel, which is where we were headed back to anyway, and uh, gonna go and have a drink before we head back <laughs> into town, as John calls it, for dinner. You're balancing on a bottle of water, so I'll be really quick. Um, come in the castle in, and we're just having our uh, vino, um, a lovely bottle of the house vino, and we ordered a vegetarian steak for me, which is a poser. Celeriac. A celeriac one, and John's got a horrible um, dead one. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. No, go for it. There we go. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks very much. No, it's great. Thank you. You're okay. Uh, I think we're good. Lovely, perfect. Yeah, Enjoy. There you go, our gazpacho's arrived. Mm. So we've got gazpacho and um, yeah, mains of sorted and so we're going to enjoy that and um, see you guys. I might actually film the gazpacho, no what is it? The celeriac. Because it wasn't on the menu and I didn't like the other two options. And so it's a like trial one that they're doing. We're being a guinea pig. I'm being a guinea pig. Um, this is cold so it's not going to go cold yeah. from me talking. But uh, yeah, so... Um, no, but I, I'm not eating it, so... Okay, so I'm good. <laughs> Our mains have arrived and I did promise you a look at my celeriac steak, which is vegetarian. Um, John's is not, so we won't be showing you that. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at it. Don't go upstairs.
this and be like, oh, let's just have a look which one. Like, it looks so yummy. And this is like a crispy potato -y thing. And I had something very similar when we had the Michelin dinner yesterday. And I've got some cute little onion rings. I think that's chicory. I'm not sure. This? Looks like um, and uh, I'm really like excited to dig in so um, yeah bye oh it's so dark you're probably not gonna see this but we're walking down the Castle Coombe High Street we've just had dinner it was delicious um, I'm not as full as I was when we had the seven course meal funnily enough um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it was lovely and we're just walking down the high street I've not done my um, shawl up enough so it keeps slipping but anyway nobody's here it's completely empty um, it's completely pitch black you probably can't even see me very well um so that's probably not a terrible thing and we're just gawking in all of the windows <laughs> like terrible people i hate it when people do that to us um <laughs> and it's just stunning so yeah we've had a lovely lovely time and um a car's coming so it's gonna light the way i'm gonna just come over here before i say goodbye and you can just see all of this lit up Good morning, it's about, I don't know, half six, seven o'clock in the morning and we never get up this early, um, even with the baby. So we've come into Castle Coombe to take some photos and videos while there's nobody here. Um, there's one other lady actually over there, um, but it's completely empty. So I should probably be a bit quieter actually. And I thought I would show you around whilst it's empty. We've just seen a kingfisher. I've never seen one before. There's another cat over there as well. And um, down there, there are some little egrets in the water. I hope you've enjoyed our weekend away in Castle Coombe. We had the most wonderful time. It's the most beautiful village. And if you enjoyed my video, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to share.